it has been a long time maybe six months since i've done my last video i apologize guys but i found out i was pregnant yeah! so um yeah i've been tired as hell and uh i arrived <laughs> if you are pregnant you know that your energy be you know fluctuating your hormones be up and down and so today my energy is here. I'm out of breath, so let me give you a sip of water. But out of everything, the coolest thing that I do love about being pregnant, well, I just think that it's pretty cool, is the fact that another human being is literally growing inside of me. Like, that's so cool. So I'm excited. And today, um, as I'm going through my journey, and I probably do a part two as well. Um, but I've already been through my first trimester. I am currently in my second trimester. So I thought I should share some things that I've had to endure during the first couple months that I've been pregnant. Um, just as far as like doctors, prenatals, everything. And I just wanted to discuss and talk about, just give you guys some tips and advice on, you know, when you're pregnant. So if you guys are interested in this video, stay tuned and going to get straight into it. Okay guys, so I do have a few notes. Um, because if you know one of the things that you know it is very true that some as a pregnant person um you can have pregnancy brain so i had to write down a lot of my notes because i will forget like, so first of all let's get to the pregnancy okay first you find out you're pregnant please guys go to the doctor if you take a test at home um i'm gonna be honest with you i have taken like the dollar tree or dollar general type of test I took five and they all said the same thing. <laughs> Bish, you pregnant. <pretty> it. <laughs> so don't be in denial. Um, if you are not comfortable with trusting those home tests, just go to the doc. Just go to the doctor and confirm that you are pregnant. That is number one. Um, number two, I wrote down. Um, just take your um, take things one at a time, one day at a time. That's all you can do. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I could just tell you a little bit about my experience. When I found out that I was pregnant, let me tell you, baby, it's okay. I was not thrilled, and I am okay with me not being thrilled because you know it was. You know, you be saying you had your New Year's resolutions. It's 2018. My, I had like I had five trip plans, literally five trips planned this year, um, and I had to cut some out because during the time that I'll be having a baby. That was the time of the trip, so I had to cut some trips out. Um, I was already working on my summer 2018 body. Like, I was like getting, baby, them pounds was coming down, and then I just started knowing that it was coming back. It was supposed to be a grind and hustle year for me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And I told myself, you know, I'm gonna be hustling, grinding, and then it's like, no, you're not. You're gonna be sleeping and resting. That's what you're gonna be doing. Like, I can be honest with you, the first few, uh, maybe three months, I probably rest like I had no time no desire to do just about anything and that's okay because you have a freaking human inside of you it's okay but I honestly wanted to get my focus right and get my my career and my household together which I'm still doing so but it's just taking me a little bit more time and guess what that's okay you can't control when things like this happen when life happens all you can do is take it one day at a time and just move forward okay number three breathe um i'm gonna be honest with you once again like i told you guys i was not thrilled when i found out i was pregnant but i will say this i was not thrilled um and i call myself catching like fear anxiety i was like oh my lord what am i gonna do i'm not ready for this i, I haven't got me fully right like lord please help i don't know um you just have to just take a breath um, if you are confused about like what to do, where to start, my advice to you, Google is a free, it's a free outlet. It's a free internet engine, a search engine where you can just search things. Let me tell you, Google has always been a friend of mine. I probably will go to Google. I'll go to the Lord first, but I'm going to Google next before I even call somebody. So do your research, guys. Read some books. Go read articles. There's different... 
um, mommy blogs out there where there's people online that have, have already experienced this before. So WikiHow, I love WikiHow, how to do things. So I suggest more books, read more books. Um, a good book that I can say um, is what to do, uh, what is it? I had to look at it. Like I said, my memory is shot. Oh, what to expect. Um, what to expect, that's a good book that I'm reading. It tells you like different things. Um, and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so this is how the book looks. Um, it's um, what to expect when you're expecting. And there's this is the fifth edition. I'm guessing like they go by edition, like what's the newest or whatnot. Um, it's number one best-selling pregnancy book. And it just has like different advice. Home birth, core banking, uh, your pregnancy lifestyle, what you may be wondering about, working out, stuff like that. To me, I think it's a really good book. Um, like I said, I am a queen of going online, reading up on a lot of stuff. So that's what I do if you get confused about like different research. The next thing, think positive. Um, do not be around in the beginning of your pregnancy or even your, in your entire pregnancy thinking, oh my gosh, is my baby going to have Down syndrome? Is my baby going to be sick? It might have an unhealthy baby. All you have to do is just take care of yourself and think positive thoughts. Say, put out in the universe, hey, my baby's gonna be healthy, my baby's gonna be beautiful, my baby's gonna be full of love. Start, like, you know, do your affirmations, talk to your baby. Like, you know, I talk to my baby just about every day and I'm like, you know, you're gonna be loved, your parents love you, you are beautiful, you are healthy, you are strong, you know? Put positivity out there. Don't be out there be like, oh my gosh, I don't know this net. Don't be a negative Nancy, okay? And if you have negative Nancy people around you, you need to let them, uh, uh, that's my next thing, uh, get them toxic people out your life. Because toxic people around during this time, you want to have a clear thought, you want to have a clear mind. And the best thing that I can suggest, I know how I am, um, the beginning of my pregnancy, I did not talk to a lot of people. I stayed to myself. I wanted to be in tune with my own energy, my baby's energy, and just have nothing but positivity. Like, even when you have people come and be like, oh, some people, you know, that's going to be a boy. That's going to be a girl. Please. You don't know what this is going to be. Whatever God gives me to be, you want a girl, though. You know, I ask you, shall receive. Um, and I put out there in the universe, Lord, we want a girl. That's what we want. And asking you receive so that's what I'm asking for um but I don't like when people put titles and stuff like oh it's gonna be this gonna be this. don't put that on my child or oh, you're gonna be this you're gonna be that and see that's why another thing I suggest is to wait to tell people that you're pregnant you don't have to tell people that you won't be pregnant like and you gotta look at it like this when you start telling people people start chatting before you know it something wrong with you you sick people pray against you and I really believe that so I didn't tell people that I was pregnant until I was like four months. Let's talk about doctors. Um, me going to the doctor I'm about to do, I've been to, I've been through two different doctors and my first doctor, let me tell you, my experience was a hot mess. Plenty to say, babe. So my experience was a hot mess and I say it was a hot mess because when I first um, went to my first doctor, she would reschedule me like keep scrubbing me back to back to back back because she would be out of the office and stuff like that the people were rude it was all i felt like it was all about money it was like oh you have to pay for your delivery now um we're gonna start making some payments and i'm like okay how much you talking um two hundred dollars a month maybe you're not finna get no car note out of me every month so i didn't like that and so i used to always like my doctor has been through a clinic and and it's a clinic that is um, it's not for profit, it's a non-profit clinic. And I like them and they really take care of their patients. That's what I think that I love about them. I, work, I found a amazing doctor. He is so funny. He keeps me joking. He, he's always excited. He's always like, you know, giving me advice, what to do, don't, what the, don't be listening to these people, which I still do my research and stuff like that on my own. But I just felt like what I was looking for in a doctor, he was it. So, um, so yeah. You may have to go through a couple of doctors before you can find the right one. I'm just going to be honest with you because you go and whatever your body feels, I'm telling you guys, listen to it. You feeling like I'm not with this place, don't have your baby there. Just straight up. Okay? Um, 
ginger ultrasounds oh my gosh okay so i'll be i'm actually 23 weeks today and i still don't know what i'm having and well i know what i'm having in my heart but you know technology wise i don't and so the first appointment that i had to find out i was pregnancy i mean what my baby the gender of the baby was the people told me i had to pay six hundred sixteen hundred dollars mind you guys i have insurance and i just wasn't gonna do that so find you places like um if you just want just to know just the gender there's places i had a co-worker come to me and say hey go to groupon there's four dollars places that you can find four dollars that will tell you what your gender is but the difference between that like my doctor was um, explaining to me and he found me someone that can actually give me a medical ultrasound um, is that it's not a medical ultrasound if you go to like those coupons because they are more just like ultrasound technicians so I mean if you want to know just that just what the gender of that baby is you can pay the for it but if you want to know more about the pregnancy I mean your baby in more detail in a more medical way there's other places that can do so and one of the things that my doctor suggested to me was to don't tell them that you have insurance which is sad um, but just let them know that you want to self-pay. My self-payment went from $1,600 with insurance to $150. So that's some advice that I can give you guys when it comes to ginger arch signs. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments below and I can, I can comment back. Eating habits, guys. Make sure that you are eating right because you want to develop a healthy baby. You can't be out here eating McDonald's every day, Popeye's chicken every day, eat more bait baked goods um it's crazy that you should this you would think you can eat more salads but salad is not really some of the ingredients in salads um with, i think that they say the yeast or something in the salad it can make you gain extra weight um sweets um don't eat too many sweets but of course you know enjoy and indulge what your craving is I, that's just me one of the things that i have been obsessing about during this pregnancy is pizza I can't say, well, I've always loved pizza in general, but now it's just like pizza on crack. So pizza is one of my things that I do love to eat during pregnancy. And I don't try to eat it every day, but you best believe I'm gonna get it once a week, okay? And lastly guys, oh my gosh, I just wanna talk about prenatal struggle. Uh, I'm talking about pre prenatal supplements. Let me tell y'all, I hate prenatals. I don't like them. They're too damn big and just taking them things every day is just a struggle for me. Now, I have had experience um, different types of prenatals. My first prenatals that I had were like the brown ones. And me and my body with those brown prenatals, we were not a fan of that. So I had to find another way. And when I found a new doctor, he suggested like in the first 14 weeks through the gummies. And the gummies were alright, but I still had like a ugh aftertaste, but they were acceptable. So I was, I was taking my gummies like every day. But when I got to 14 weeks, I had to find another solution. So um, prenatals are expensive as hell. Um, the prenatals that I have, I have prenate, it's called prenate minis. And I'll put the, put like the information below. And they're blue. Those, I don't really have any like bad experience with those. It's just that they're just big. That's my only thing. Now, I have found that I do better when I take my prenatals at night. So what I do is at night, like around nine or 10 o'clock before I go to bed, I will take a prenatal every night. I do, can't take it in the morning time, can't take it at lunch, because it's feeling like I have this big glop, like something's just sitting on my chest. And I have been dealing with indigestion as well, so that, the prenatal and then the indigestion with me, it doesn't go well. And so, um, I suggest to you do your research, see what prenatal works for you, but in the beginning of your pregnancy, I suggest take the gummy bears. And my doctor honestly told me that I could take my my gummy bears throughout my entire pregnancy. Like you do not, as long as they have DHA in it, and I'm gonna repeat that, and I'm gonna put it right here. Long as the prenatal has DHA in it, you are healthy. You're giving all your baby the, yourself and your baby the nutrition that your body needs to, from what the baby is taking from you. So, um, that's another thing. I'm gonna be honest with you, sometimes I miss a night or two. Um, I just can't keep it up and just sometimes my body's like, no baby, not today, we're not doing this today. So, <laughs> I'm okay. Um, and lastly, make sure you're drinking your water, girls. 
make sure you're drinking your waters. Um, I couldn't, I was one of those people that really couldn't stand water, but I can honestly tell, like, my body right now is just like, you need water. So, if you're not good with, like, drinking water, my suggestion is, um, there's different apps that you can get on your phone. So, the app that I have, I think it's called Drink, yeah, it's called Drink Water. My app tell me you need to take your drink, drink some water today, go ahead and get your sip, and I love it. So, drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated and it's hot and it's summertime. Whew. But y'all, I think that's enough tips for the day. Um, Cause I'm getting out of bread. <laughs> I'm out of bread and I just need to relax and hit my feet up. But I just wanted to give you guys some tips. And if you are about to be pregnant, think about being pregnant or just unexpectedly pregnant. Um, these are some tips that I'm gonna call it. This is pregnancy 101. Some of the things that you may endure, some of the things you need to endure. And just some of the things that will get you through pregnancy, okay? So, um, I just appreciate you guys watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you would like to be notified, there's a notification button right at the top of my page. I'm out of breath again. And thank you guys for watching the video again.